I'm here today to update the American people on the incredible progress that has been made in the last four weeks since my inauguration. We have made incredible progress. I don't think there's ever been a president elected who, in this short period of time, has done what we've done. A new Rasmussen poll, in fact, because the people get it. Uh, much of the media doesn't get it. They actually get it, but they don't write it. Let's put it that way. But our new Rasmussen poll just came out just a very short while ago, and it has our approval rating at 55 percent and going up. The stock market has hit record numbers, as you know, and uh, there has been a, a tremendous surge of optimism in the business world, which is, to me, means something much different than it used to. It used to mean, oh, that's good. Now it means that's good for jobs. To be honest, I inherited a mess. It's a mess. At home and abroad, a mess. Jobs are pouring out of the country. You see what's going on with all of the companies leaving our country, going to Mexico and other places. Low pay, low wages, mass instability overseas, no matter where you look. The Middle East, a disaster. North Korea, we'll take care of it, folks. We're going to take care of it all. I just want to let you know, I inherited a mess. At home, we have begun the monumental task of returning the government back to the people on a scale not seen in many, many years. In each of these actions, I'm keeping my promises to the American people. These are campaign promises. Some people are so surprised that we're having strong borders. Well, that's what I've been talking about for a year and a half, strong borders. They're so surprised. Oh, he having strong borders. Well, that's what I've been talking about to the press and to everybody else. One promise after another, after years of politicians lying to you to get elected. They lied to the American people in order to get elected. Some of the things I'm doing probably aren't popular, but they're necessary for security and for other reasons. And then coming to Washington and pursuing their own interests, which is more important to many politicians. I'm here following through on what I pledged to do. It's all I'm doing. I put it out before the American people. Got 306 Electoral College votes. I wasn't supposed to get 222. They said there's no way to get 222. 230 is impossible. 270, which you need, that was laughable. We got 306. Because people came out and voted like they've never seen before. So that's the way it goes. I guess it was the biggest Electoral College win since Ronald Reagan. In other words, the media is trying to attack our administration because they know we are following through on pledges that we made, and they're not happy about it for whatever reason. And — but a lot of people are happy about it. In fact, I'll be in Melbourne, Florida, at 5 o'clock on Saturday, and I heard — just heard that the crowds are massive that want to be there. I turn on the TV, open the newspapers, and I see stories of chaos. Chaos. Yet, it is the exact opposite. This administration is running like a fine-tuned machine, despite the fact that I can't get my cabinet approved and they're outstanding people, like Senator Dan Coats, who's there, one of the most respected men in the Senate. He can't get approved. How do you not approve him? He's been a colleague, highly respected. Brilliant guy, great guy. Everybody knows it. We're waiting for approval. So we have a wonderful group of people that's working very hard, uh, that's being uh, very much misrepresented about, and we can't let that happen. Uh, so if the Democrats who have — all you have to do is look at where they are right now. The only thing they can do is delay, because they've screwed things up royally, believe me.